Boys, boys, Monday morning, hey. Monday morning after a weekend's boozing. And I wouldn't be fond of drinking, but when I go at it, I do go at it awful and very hard. In fairness, surprised at how good I feel today. Monday night, yesterday wasn't great. My whoop is at 1% in the red, more or less just death warmed up. So uh, today, 94% in the green. Good days eating yesterday, a good bit of sleeping, and back on the back on the wagon again. Now, the weekend was serious good crack. Like, like there's no, it's undeniable. Drinking is the crack. Like, there's nothing like it. Like, it was just a really good night's crack. End up playing the guitar and all like that I hadn't played in a long time. And underneath these big arches in a place like and <laughs> it was just good crack. I was coming stepping along full like and I was like, oh it gives me going that guitar and the boy was kinda of looking at me as if to say this boy is just a drunk loud and he's gonna rake this guitar. I was like, I'll give you a fiver like to let me play one song. So reached in the pocket, looked for a fiver, didn't even have a fiver on me, give him one pound twenty or something. He says, play away. So then I just picked the guitar up, started playing, and then about 15 or 20 other boys started to jump in and sing the song along with me, so that was good out of crack. Um, I, the, know the thing about it, yesterday I was sitting on the sofa all day, lying about, and I was just watching like weightlifting and different like Olympic stuff and different bits and bobs, and it actually just lit a fire under me to get back to in the day. Can't wait now to get back into it, so sometimes it's kind of good to get a reset on that, you know, go away, have a good night's crack, Poison yourself, but just get ready and get back into routine again, and you're just double down then on your training then again. So that's the plan for this week now. I had to train hard and uh, get back into this. So we're starting off for the day with a bit of strict pressing here. Now we've done this last week, except for we were at later percentages and higher reps. This time the reps have come down and the percentages are being bumped up. So what we'll do is we're going to start off with just one single rep at 70%, then we're going to do another single at 78%, then we're going to do four sets of three and that's going to be done at 63 kilos or 83 percent and then we'll do a max set then at 83 percent so start off the first single here 53 kilo that was the first single 70 percent now we're bumping it up again to 78 percent so we're going up from 53 kilo to 60 for the next single Right, so we're up now to our last percentage. This is 83% now. We're going to be doing all these sets at this weight. So we'll say four sets of three now at 83%, which is going to be 63 kilos, and then a max set at 63 kilos. Right, that's four sets of three done there now, and we have a max effort set now. This is the last set. As many reps as possible, unbroken at uh, 63 kilos, so we'll get on that next. Right, I managed to get six reps at uh, 63 kilos, strict and unbroken, so happy enough for that. Right, so that's a strict press and done. We're gonna get into some front squats next. Every three minutes for three sets, gonna do one single rep just. Uh, the first rep is going to start at 85%, I think it is, uh, 118 kilos, and we're just going to build in off that after. So it's up to yourself whether you want to build with just that first set is a mandatory 85%. 118 kilo was the first single, it felt okay. Um, I'll probably chance maybe a 10 kilo jump now, head up to 128 and try 128 for a single. No, that was definitely getting heavier. I'll try 135 now, my old one rep max. Uh, my one rep max at the minute is 138, but it was 135, I only PB'd it recently. So I'm gonna try and hit a 135 now, see if I can do that. Right, so that's 135 kilos. My old one rep max, um, 135, had it there now for a single day. A thing I do, right, is any time that I had a PV, I'll write all my lifts on my belt. So 
I PB'd that 138 kilo on the front squat on the 3rd of December this year, so not really that long ago. Um, and then my, now I've had 135, so that was 138, 3rd of December. Oh. And then I hit the 135, which was my old one at max, just there now after three reps, I'm happy with that. Another thing, when I look back, last week, last Tuesday, we did the strict press and sack, same thing, and the front squats that we did today, except for just progressive overloading it, and we're going heavier this week. I knew that last week I did a double at 133 starting out, then I did a double at 123, and then I had a double at 133. So again, that's just giving me confidence. Before I even went in underneath that lift, I knew, look sir, you did a double at 133, so this 135 is here. And you know you've been following these progressions, so these percentages aren't, you're not meant to miss, like. So you, it gives you confidence heading on the lifts. And that's why I think too, it's well important to, as I say all the time, write down your lifts, write down your reps, write down your training, write down what you're doing. And even just that we, if there's any doubt in your mind thinking, whoa, this 135, even because I did, like I hit that 125, right on the way up there. Was it 125? What did I even hit? What did I hit after that? Sorry, 128. So that 128 for a single felt heavy. And then I was loading up the 135 and I was kind of half thinking, is this a bit heavy? Like the 128 felt heavy enough, but straight away then I clicked my head as you check back the book, locked, hit a double at 133, gives you that wee bit of confidence when you get under the bar then, you stand it straight up. So as I, as I say all the time, write down your lifts. Like and even for your one rep max, that's what I do in my belt there. Like I just have three lifts in that, overhead squat, back squat and front squat. And I just keep them on my belt and then update them in every time you hit one. <laughs> they don't be updated too often, mind you, but hopefully now 2024, hey, I swear I am coming out the gate like a raging bull in the 1st of January, and I am gonna get strong this year. I'm just gonna make this year the year of the Olympic lifts, hey, snatch, clean jerk, squats, everything to do with that barbell. I'm gonna focus in on this year, that is my main concern. I'll still be doing all my crossfit stuff just to keep my conditioning going, but I'm gonna double down, I'll be doing evening sessions and the morning session like I'm doing, and then every evening then, hey, for probably three or four days a week on the program, um, I'm gonna be weightlifting, hey, just to get strong, hey. Strong people's hard to kill. Right, we are getting into a nice wee short nine minute arm wrap now. Uh, in this nine minute arm wrap, we are doing six thrusters at 53 kilos and six lateral barbell burpees. So, nine minutes of fire breathing here now, I'd say. to get seven rounds and three thrusters into the eight. Um, I was trying to do it like an EMOM. So on the zero minute EMOM, and did that right up as far as the sixth. So it'll be like one, two, three, four, five, I like. I did like the first six minutes as an EMOM, and then the wheels just fell off then after that. But once they did fall off, then I managed to hand, hang on then for another couple of rounds or whatever, and got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I got eight plus three rounds, sorry, eight rounds, three reps. So I wasn't too far off finishing uh, like an EMA. Eight and three. Thrusters 53 kilo, they felt grand, like they were actually easy. I liked them. Just the burpees then. Like first couple of rounds, first couple of months felt grand, but just wears on you then too, you know what I mean? And uh, has a good workout though. Short, sweet, snappy, hard. That's just what we want there to get, get the body back firing again. Um, so that's it, hey. all I'll do today now is plenty of water, plenty of electrolytes, plenty of salt, get um, fuel back up, get this little hangover pushed away to the side, and that's me then, back to normal, hey. and we will go, go at it harder from here on now, hey. the whole thing's been reset now, and uh, ready to go, <sighs> pretty hard, work even harder now when we get back in here, so that's it. Right folks, we'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday, for the next one, good luck.